Hi guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. This is my literati tree that Tony, early, earlier on last year or this year, Tony put a challenge out to everyone to create a literati tree. And this is my one. My first one actually died, but I made this, this one um, just before I made that last one. Um, so I, I made this my Tony Literati tree. And we're going to be doing some work on it today. First off, going to be taking off some of the needles and then I'm going to be taking off this wire um, and then possibly a little bit of branch selection, even though I'm in real, I really am in two minds about this tree at the moment. I actually like the taper that it's got, it's got going on at the moment. And I don't think it's too bad, um, but other people disagree and they say I should chop it all the way down and then just regrow it again. Um, I'm a, a bit in two, two minds about doing that. So I'm going to get all the needles off anyway, get the wire off, see if it's holding its shape. If it, if it is going to hold its shape, then perhaps I'll think about chopping it lower in, in June next year or this year yeah next year um in june chopping it about here and then and then growing it on after that but i actually do like the taper on this tree um and also this is my first ever tanuki now it was a bit of driftwood that i got from uh, a fishing tackle shop or a fish shop um and i really liked it and i ended up putting putting the tree in between a gap there and I need to do a little bit of carving on this just to get this back piece sunk into this to this bit of wood here um, so I'm going to do that in a minute also we need to do some branch selection and just a little bit of wiring just a little bit of wiring on that so I ain't going to bore you too much I'm going to fast forward these bits and we'll see what the tree looks like, whether it, whether it holds its position. Let's get on guys. Just in case you didn't know how to take needles off of a, of a larch, at the tips, grab the tip of it like so and squeeze it in. Hold on quite firm, but not at the very tip of the buds, like so, and then just pull towards the direction it's coming out like so this will ensure that you don't break the buds for next year so always the direction the needles want to come out and hold firm not to break buds So right guys, I'm just gonna get the wire off of this now. Now I've got quite quite a thick wire on it, but it shouldn't take too long to do. So just bear with me for a minute. Um, I'm gonna get the gauze off or the, the Tony tape, as I like to call it. Um, this being Tony's literati, I thought it, I thought it quite good if I was to use the vet tape as Tony liked to do. Um, I used it for from the beginning. Um, I think I showed you one of my on one of my videos that I started it from the very beginning. It did bite in a bit a little bit, but it did work. It did it did protect the bark from the worst the worst of the of the wire marks so it did work so very good for to you Tony or 
showing us something that does work. Um, let's just get this off. Obviously, be careful with all your, your branches and all the buds that are on there. Be as careful as you can. You guys know that I'm a beginner bonsai man. So I've got it all to learn. And I hope that you will follow me and we can all sort of learn learn together if you're a newbie and you uh well not necessarily need teaching stuff but you want to find the confidence to to go for things and to style a tree the way you want really not the way everyone else wants or the way it's done normally most people want a really good looking tree in a very short amount of time and in bonsai that's not necessarily possible well, it's not really possible at all. So it, bonsai does take a long time. Even this is going to take a long time. Um, but I do like to show you something different. I like to I like to bring new styles into in into my uh, my bonsai or very good styles, I should say, not new styles because I'm never going to create a new style for bonsai. But you know, I do like to experiment. So. If you haven't got the confidence, then please follow me along, follow along with me and, you know, perhaps you will eventually find your confidence. That's what I hope anyway. Now, if this is terribly scarred, then what I'll do is I will do what people have been saying for me to do and that's chop it right the way down and start again but it really doesn't matter at this this moment in time because I'm a newbie and I'm allowed to do whatever I want and get it all wrong because that's what newbies do <laughs> fantastic isn't it? but let's get this off leave them there because I'm probably going to be using them again in the future so it doesn't bother me that there's going to be wire hanging off the pot because at the end of the day if you're going to reuse it what's the point in digging it back in the, in the soil and possibly ruining roots and stuff like that there's no point so just sort of bend it over keep it along there and then you can wrap it up again when you're ready So we're going to un untie the tape now. I'll fast forward this bit for you. There's my update on Tony's Literati tree. So I'm going to be doing my Tanuki and that involves some carving and some wiring and some branch selection. So let's get on with it. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should somehow realize what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now That beat, the world is on the street, that the fire in your heart is sound 
I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had it down. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. So right guys, that's all done. I'm just gonna put some cable ties around this now and tie this off and hope that next year it's gonna settle nicely. It will have settled nicely into position. And next year, in the springtime, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a couple of nails in this and really properly nail, nail it on so it's got, so there's absolutely no movement in it whatsoever. A couple of nails in the right positions and that'll be all right. So now we're onto the wiring and if you don't know about wiring, to tell if you've got the right gauge, gauge of wire, push, the wire gently on the branch and if the wire and the branch move very slightly then that's the right thickness to use so I've got the right thickness here to use so we're going to wire this branch into position So now this branch is going to come back and twist. Like so. There we go, that's that first, first branch all set. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it's not supposed to look pretty. Um, it could look pretty if I was better at wiring, but as I'm not that good at wiring, it don't look pretty, does it? <laughs> that's the thing about, about wiring. It's, you don't want to ruin the look of the tree, but you need to do it and i'm not the greatest at wiring i've got to admit it is a very hard thing to get right is wiring so i'm discovering especially with japanese larch because with japanese larch you've got very very close buds on the branches so once quick don't mess about too much don't put your fingers in different places too much because you are likely to destroy the buds on them. So, it, like I say, it is quite tricky. Now this one, I'm just gonna put some guy wire on that. Um, actually, I might not, I might, I might put some, some thinner wire just to bring this down a bit. Um, and then some guy wire to pull that, pull that down like that. Um, also with that one, I need to go down. And this one, I think it's just gonna be a bit of clip and grow, or possibly a, possibly a, a little guy wire just there to hold it. So let's get on with that. So to put the guy wire on, I'm just gonna thread it through the cable tie down here. Back over the top.
So right now we've got branch selection to make. I've just taken off a couple from the inside curves up here. I am going to put some wire on this eventually, but I want to make sure that this, the end of this tree comes back alive in the spring. So this one here can be manipulated and will be manipulated. So I won't make any choices on this for now. Um, but basically I'm just going to come around and see which ones I think I should be taking off. And I do think I should be taking off that one there. These two come out like, like so, but I think that one's dead. So I'm just going to chop that one there. This one's coming down on itself and there's three there. So I'm just going to take the one off. This one's inside the curve. Likewise for that one. And there we have it. Like I say, I'll put some wire on this back one and we'll get some back stuff going on with that. This one I'm gonna leave as a feeder branch. I'm gonna take that one off there because that's no longer needed. And a little crotch growth there. So there we go guys, there's my little video done for you today. Um, I've been taking another look at this Tony's Literati tree and I think you're right. I think I'm gonna to have to do a major chop on this this year. It's very thin down the bottom and it doesn't really take too much till you get to the top. So I am gonna listen. I am gonna take people's advice and not sure where I'm gonna chop it yet. I'm just gonna let it all come back next year. Wait till June time when we can do a big trunk chop on a Japanese larch and we'll go from there. But Tony Street, is doing really well and I'm really pleased with it so far and likewise is the tanuki so I think that one's going to look quite nice eventually once I get the angles right and branches right and could be all right that one and um, you never know it could be all right so as ever please like and subscribe and follow my madness throughout the years and I'll see you later guys ta-da